game it's uh, no it's a pretty simple character I made back in 2004 or you may know him from the, the blender splash screen in 2.36 if I'm not mistaken uh, he was standing on a plate I needed to unwrap it so I made a simple unwrap as you can see on the image editor I made a seam to cut his mesh and unwrap it from there on the back as you can see but it was only on the back I made a test render here you can see it's pretty simple because it goes that way so yeah it was really ugly on the back and uh, it was mostly because I didn't left any room between the edge of my UV and the edge of the, the texture itself but also because when I was painting it I was painting the, the texture I didn't took care of of trying to match both sides of the texture I mean I I didn't mind the texture was the image, the camera sorry was going to be on the front so but if you wanted to animate it or something yeah that's horrible so we're going to clone we are going to patch this we're going to clone a, uh, some from some parts of our texture our, our already painted texture we are not going to make any any new texture so for that we need an extra UV map oh if you are in edit mode and you make a new UV map it will make a, a reset version of it it will unwrap it but as reset so it's better to do it in the object mode so we have it clean we have a copy of the one we are using it actually so I will uh, just select this vertices I want to put my texture on or where I want to cover that ugly seam so I unwrap but still I, I still got the seam there so I clear seams from the edges menu and unwrap again now it's better so as you can see now I'm just trying to find a place in my texture where it looks kinda okay a little bit because this is the UV layer I'm going to clone from and the UV layer called unwrap is where I'm going to clone I'm going to paint what I'm uh, cloning from the other the other layer so for this we need uh, to go to texture paint mode Ew. ah there, yeah, there is a seam on the normal map mode so let's switch from GLSL to texture face for example and better to texture view so we can see our color map totally flat there is no light going on there so by default if we just go to texture paint and start painting with the default settings and the draw mode it will just paint there it will not make any seams because that's uh, what project painting takes care about that's so cool but we are going to use that clone mode we don't want to paint over we want to clone from we are going to switch from draw tool to clone and then uh, click on the clone layer button and now I have to tell Blender okay which layer you need to clone from I do that by clicking on the little texture icon the third one from left to right and that way Blender will use as a clone source it will use the UV layer I set there and it will paint over the one that has the 3D view button enabled which is the first one from left to right and that's it pretty simple no matter which view you, you are in you can just move around paint move around a little bit more rotate if 
you can even go again to the to the UV map, switch, scale, rotate. And when it looks good, then you switch back and just paint over. And it will clone that image into this new, this uh, texture map. And again, when you reach a point where the colors don't match or something, you just go back, move around, scale, rotate, see how it looks, then go back and paint over. I'm doing all this with the same texture, but you could use some uh, others or even real pictures or whatever. I'm just using the same one because I'm, I want to clone from a, a part of my texture like copy paste but since this uh, texture is so messy there's there, there will be no problem about like hey no look he copied the same the same place same texture all over again I'm going to save this now as you can see it go, it gets uh, automatically assigned into your textures and in blender gsl still uh, that ugly line over there because that's a normal map when i made the normal map i made it from the same image i was working on the, the color image i made it on the gimp a uh, really well known uh, plugin for that which is called the normal map plugin But still got this ugly line, which we are we are going to fix it. So you can see the process again. So as you can see here, it got a really ugly line over there. What we need to do is just go to the clone from here layer, map it. I think that's okay by default. So we just paint over. We'll paint from from the clone it from the second layer up to the first one. So we just paint there. Even in real time we are in the GLSL and we can see how this normal map thing affects and it looks there like in real time. You can see it right there. Looks nice. Jeez, these textures are, are really ugly. I made them back in 2004, so you can imagine. And as you can see now, nice. All flat, there's no seam. There have been, uh, has been never been a seam over there. Well, yeah, but nobody knows. And now it'll look exactly like that on the back. But we could render. Let's first uh, save the normal map image. There. Image save as. Let's check that it's uh, assigned to the material and uh, see yep right there automatically so now just uh, let's render let's see how it looks I want to move the camera around my carrot so I will just click snap shift s for snapping then rotate and render gonna speed up the render process a little bit
but as you can see there's no more sim over there yay so that was Sano and his ugly seams now they're all fixed there's also I bet there's also seams all over like on the leaves right there the, the little leaf and yeah it really needs a lot of tweaking but it, that is up to you if you want to tweak it the characters is created commons now so show it <laughs>